Hey up everyone, Paula here. Welcome. Now, I think what I'm going to do this episode is work a bit on this area here. Now, I just finished my tower and I still need to create a portal to the nether, but I'm going to put that off for a little while because I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, how I want to do that yet, so I'm still planning that out. What I have done is make a few more bookcases. I don't know what the optimal, like, I don't know how far away a bookcase can be from the enchantment table for it to take effect. So right now I've just stuck them down. I can always move them. Now I read on the forums that if you stick something in between, like, uh, I don't know if this is true. Well, hey, look at that. That's coming from the side. Okay, that's cool. Ah, I like that. So if I move this. Oh, bugger, I forgot it does that. Bugger. Okay, well, ignore that for now. I can test at least to see how far away it can be. But apparently if I put... So yeah, putting uh, torches in front of stops it from... I, th I believe it stops it from getting the enchant enchantments. I could be completely wrong, but uh, that's what I read upon. So rather than having a piston... Yeah, look, it's sort of lowered it down. So rather than having like a whole piston uh, set up to move bookcases in and out, you can just place torches. Although I don't know if they have to be on every single face of the bookcase or what, but I don't know. It's just cool to know. So, what are we doing? Bloody good question. Okay, I was going to make a little pen for the animals, and I wanted to m move the wheat farm out front as well. Or at least make way for uh, pumpkins and melons and all that good stuff. In fact, I do need to find some melon seeds. I believe they're found in abandoned mines. So, we'll head down. I believe there was an abandoned mine somewhere. I think it was underneath the, uh, the villager. Abandoned village now. So, I'll head there at some point and uh, grab a few. I say grab a few. I've got to find them first. So what are we doing? Ah, ah, ha, 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 yes. We're going to pen in some pigs and cows and eventually sheep. I don't see any sheep in the immediate area. They're sort of buggered off somewhere. But we'll find them and we'll bring them back. Because, I mean, I've got nothing else going on out the front of here. So, and this is my base, you know. It doesn't have to fit in per se, you know. It just has to be practical. I wasn't sure where to do this, so I figured I was just going to start building and then linking them all up. So let's say we make a little piggy. Oh, you pillock. Already I've buggered it. There we go. I don't know how big I want this. Okay, so it's six wide so far, that's seven. I don't think it needs to be too big. Okay, it's going dark. I'm going to go make a daylight. I also need a entrance to this, so I'm going to go ahead and sort that out. Tempted to get rid of that top uh, gate. It doesn't really need to be there. And how, how do you make a gate again? I forgot. There we go, a bit of wood. Then I believe it was a bit of wooden planks. Although I may need some. Let's hold that back. And I believe it was like... Was it this? Well, I, I know what it is. Come on. Oh, bugger. How did I do this? Was it... I'm going to get it eventually. Or I'll cry, one or the other. Or I'll 
sneakily alt tab and look it up. Okay, I had to go cheat and look it up. I knew I, I knew I was close. There we go. I'm only going to work on one uh, pen at the moment, so we'll make two. Now. What else do I need? I could do with a couple of extra fence posts, so let's go ahead and make them. Sorted. Right, it's dark outside. I think I'm going to work on a pig pen first. So we can have like a, a nice supply of pork. Oh, mob's out there. I need the XP. Miss me. Lovely. Can't pick that up. Oh well. Make that a little bit longer. Gates. We'll have two because it makes it easier pushing animals in. At least that's what I've discovered anyway. Well, that's how I feel. There we go, that should be a nice size. Plonk up at that there. Some kind of uh, like gate with a or a fence with a sign at the top there, like an archway. So this is going to be for pigs, I reckon. So I was about to go ahead and push like a pig to get them in here, but they, they follow you now, don't they? There's actually not too many pigs left around here. I see one, two, three. So if I can at least get two in here, we're good. Lots of cows though. Ah, <laughs> no cows. I didn't want you. I want the pig. Maybe I can get that pig too. Come to me. There we go. Oh god. Now imagine if that when they're following you, if they touch you, they start like eating you. So that would be pretty scary. Because that's what it looked like with them staring guys. <laughs> look! 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 I'm telling you. Okay, well, I need the pig. Um, maybe I can just outrun the cow. Although I need to get the cow away from that area. Come here, you. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get out of it. Get out of it. Alright, there you go. Run. Oh, wait. I can just scroll off it, you fool. There you go. Yeah, come on, piggies. Come on, piggies. Come on, piggies. Oh, bugger off, cow. Bugger off. There we go. Come on. You know you want it. There we go. Alright, cow. Maybe I can get through it. No, no, no. Just the cow. Oh, bugger. I don't want to breed a cow and a pig. Cow pig, that would be bad. Or would it? Hmm. A pig that could do everything. Milk, steak, bacon, sausages. Oof. Now, will this work? Oh, I'm gonna need more. Go on then. Do your thing. What do they do again? Okay, I need to get more wheat. Let's have a 
quick look and see what we got if any more has grown. Well, thank God for that so much. Alright, bugger it. Oh, yeah. oh, no, that's not bad. Three pieces. That'll do me. I shouldn't have wasted that one. I guess you need two pieces of wheat to uh, coerce the animals. I feel like I should get the rest of the pigs that are in the area. Why is the cow still following me? I ain't got anything for him. There we go. Bit of a shoving match going on. Hey! Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's like a little square with legs on it. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Well, Jesus Christ, that's got a big head. That is, uh, scary. Okay, I've only got torches, fire. You don't want to get near fire. Not yet, anyway. Go ahead and stick torches on each corner. Keep this place lit up. Why does that look off-sided? No, it looks about right. Doesn't it? Yes. Why are they following me? The cow's trying to get in. No, you don't. Get back in there. Jeez. Okay, so we're there any more pigs. Come on, piggy. Yeah, come on. That bloody cow there. I'm just going to have to kill this cow, I think. I'm sorry, cow, but... Ooh. That's a good way to go about it. I mean, I feel terrible now, but that's a pretty nice way of going about it. So what am I doing? There we go. Hey, hey, get back here. There we go, that's cool. It's taking shape now. I feel like I should add them in some water and uh, maybe I'll do that. Now that I know they don't really drink, but I want to make a nice looking... I want to make a water trough for them. I could use a... I was just wondering if I use a cauldron, but I have it a block down so it's sort of in the ground. Bad thing is it's not going to stretch out like one should, but at least it would stop them from walking into it. Or I could use stairs, but that ain't really going to work. Let's see if I've got the materials here. Let's get rid of some of the stuff I don't need. See if I remember how to make a cauldron. There we go. It might not work, but it may, so it'll be cool to check out. Okie dokie. Where we where do we want this? I mean, I could have it like there. But that's, that's, that's a bit too high for him. And then that little pig ain't gonna reach it. So what if we? I could always put a couple of these together. There we go. It looks weird on its own. I might have to have a couple, but I don't know if that would be even weirder. I can't get that back. We'll leave that there for now. In fact, 
That is an extremely cool looking floor tile. I like that. I'm gonna have to do that more often. Imagine having like a, a patterned floor, with, you know, filled with water. Because I mean, that's. I mean, okay, it's not quite. It's not exactly flush. In fact, it pretty well is. It makes no difference. You don't change height when you're walking on top of it. That's that's very cool. I like that. I'm gonna have to uh, try that somewhere. Oh, it's gonna use up a hell of a lot of iron, but. Uh, the end result would be pretty, uh, pretty spectacular. It's going dark. I do have... No, I put up the wheat. Stupid boy. So why don't we go ahead and grab... Grab this while I'm here. Lots of cows everywhere. God. I'm going to have to do a bit of hunting. Thin the herd a little. Then capture them. And then breed them to increase the herd. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is... Ooh, I feel like I made that too far back. That could be a mistake. Huh, we'll see. I could have at least brought it forward. So I'd have some room behind it to do stuff. Because I've been... Ever since I made the... Uh, the pathway back in Miner's Haven, I've wanted to continue that sort of idea. So I wanted to use the gravel path out front here and have it linked up to everything that I build. The one thing I will need though is more wood. Again, I'm back to needing a uh, stupid tree farm. Well, that's cool, I like that. I suppose there's all this room, we'll see. Hmm, what else do we have? We've got some clay there. Can't use clay for anything. Alright, I don't know what time it is, but I need, well I'll tell you what, I'll save it for next episode, I was going to go in the mine and have a look for uh, treasure chests, or chests to find some uh, seeds, I'm not sure what kind of seeds are down there, but uh, any will do, because I would like to make a, a melon farm. I'm out of bloody water again. Hey, little ducky. God, this is just weird. I never like the idea of having uh, like the grass doesn't even fade out. This was the problem with the new world uh, generation because it just looks weird. Deserts shouldn't you know, border, uh, tigers, which we got over th that way somewhere, then we've got a jungle there, then we've got just, you know, lush green land, it's just weird. That's why I'm not too keen on this, uh, how they handle it now. Oh well. No point in crying over it, I suppose. Yeah, that tower does look pretty, pretty nice. Just need to uh, get a fire on top, then we're rocking and rolling. Hmm. There is an awful lot of animals around. I think I'm going to need to make a bigger storeroom and have like uh, it all organised for like food and whatnot.
Perhaps that's what I should build. Because it does get annoying having to keep going down. I don't mind having like uh, resources down there, but perhaps for food. Maybe I add it in here since we've got all this big, this open area. Well, the uh, tunnel, the start of it. It's always a possibility. Aha, that was it. One thing I wanted to try. Well, I was getting well. I wanted to get rid of this gate, but I was worried that I'd be shot at. That's why I always left it there. We'll test it. Did I just destroy it? Oh no, I picked it up. We'll give it a quick test and see how that goes. And again, I'm gonna. I'm still waiting for this to grow, and I'm making more bookshelves. So hopefully, next episode, I'll have enough to. Uh, get a max in chance even though I do not have the levels for it I've I think I've heard someone say they've got a level 100 in enchants so the levels you know they go pretty high so I really need to uh, do a bit of killing I was wondering about making uh, pit traps you know so if mobs go in them I can come out you know the next day and kill them but the problem is is You know, the problem is, is if I uh, do that, well, in fact, they don't do that, that's the problem. Their new AI, they're not going to fall down any holes, it's kind of annoying. At least I haven't seen one go down and drop that he couldn't get out. But if I'm wrong, please correct me, because that would be really helpful. Anyway, I think that's it for this episode. Um, I'm going to get this path all connected up and whatnot, and we're going to make a, a pen for cows perhaps here and one for sheep but for sheep I wanted to do it so I could get uh, their wool dyed but I may need to do it do it elsewhere so I've got enough room well hmm. Well, they, they grow their, their wool back if... Okay, so someone could answer me this, that would be great. If you dye a sheep's wool to, say, green, and you shear them, so you have the green wool, if they eat grass, will their wool grow back green, or will it grow back white? I'd be uh, really appreciate an answer to that if anyone knows. Because if that is the case, I could just have one pen, have all the uh, sheep in there with different colours, you know, and just uh, shear when necessary, and I can always double that if needed, so. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Join me next time.